Hi there, welcome to another edition of the Silverbird Selection. This is a collection update. I've got another seven games to add to the collection, but also I've got to mention that I've got to take one off, which is Freak Factory, as you might have seen in my last game review. Unfortunately, that won't load, so I've got to find another copy of that. So that's out of the collection for the time being. But of course, we've got seven games to add, so let's have a look at those. Firstly, I've got three games from RetroGear.co.uk, online retro gaming shop with lots of different games for lots of different systems. These three, obviously, all for the Commodore 64. So first up, we've got... Zolix, which costs £2.50. Then we've got Hopper Copper in the Silverbird packaging. That was £2. And finally, Pneumatic Hammers, which was £2.50, although it does still have the £1.99 price sticker from back in the day on it. So they're pretty good prices for those three games. Quite happy with those prices. And I've got another four games from eBay. Various prices for these. First up, we've got Thrust 2, which was £3, which again seems to be a pretty reasonable price. That seems to be quite pricey from what I've seen. Not that £3 is a lot of money. And I've got two games that came from the same seller, and these were £2.75 each. So we've got Street Warriors, and we've also got Rock and Wrestle. And then finally, an absolute bargain I think this was. I don't think it goes for a lot of money, but I still think this was especially cheap. It's the game Zenji, which is a conversion or a reissue, I should say, of an Activision game. Uh, and that cost me 99p. So brilliant. That was a real bargain, I think. So with all that in mind, I'm now up to 40 games. And the average price I paid is £1.59. So still going pretty well. It would be nice to get a few games quite cheaply to bring that average down a little bit. Don't think it's going to happen, but we'll see. So that's it. Let me know if you've got any fond memories of those games I've just mentioned there. Any interesting facts about them. Always like to know that kind of stuff. Just leave a message in the comments. And I'll be back pretty soon with another game review video. See you later.